Correct. We are back. We never left. You were listening to our upcoming artist, underground artist that has a platform here on Next Up Radio, Cocaina by Mike Check. Definitely shout out to Lucky for the plug-in on that. So give us a call. Let us know whether or not you think it should go on rotation. 718-239-9200. So now we're going to get into my next guest, who is a reggae and soca artist. Definitely all over the world. So please put your hands together for Mr. KMC. Welcome him to Next Up Radio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Mm -hmm. Now, what part are, are, where, where are you from? I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. 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 Born Born out there. Okay. And okay. So when did you know that you being an artist was your calling? Um, that was since like as a early teen, early teenager, uh-huh. uh, like 1988. Okay, and you just time. and you just said this is what I want to do, yeah, and um, you know after school, uh-huh. you know I found myself doing a lot of odd. You jobs. can speak up just a little bit. Just a yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, when I came out of school, mm-hmm. I found myself doing a lot of jobs like you know like security guard like fixing stoves Mm -hmm. and those things you know but i always liked music right it was always in me always writing songs and i didn't even realize when i started to take it serious wow you know and but that was the calling Uh uh-huh and that's who i am today that's I'm right. Entertainer. Well, well, thank you for having that calling, and thank you for being <laughs> here to share your crap with us here on Next yeah. Up Radio. Now, is it challenging being a reggae and soca artist? Well, I started with dancehall music. Okay, explain to us. I'm not gonna, explain to us that's listening mm-hmm. that does not know the difference. So, what is yeah. dancehall music All considered? Right. Dancehall music is um, the world will know it more by the name of reggae music. Okay. Really, right? But dancehall music and reggae is a little bit different. Mm-hmm. The reggae music is the is the more laid back type with the strums, you know? Yes. And, and the dancehall music is, is more the upbeat. Upbeat one. one. Okay. But okay. It, it started where um, the dancehall music, the really reason why they call it dancehall music is because that's the music that used to play in the dancehall. Uh-huh. <laughs> Because the reggae music and the calypso used to, and R and B used to play on the radio in Jamaica, mm-hmm. and they never really used to play the, a certain type of music. So those guys and the song system start breaking that type of music okay. in the dancehall, and that's why they call it dancehall dance music. music. And okay. it, it in evolved now mm-hmm. into a more, a more upbeat tempo, you know. Yeah. And that is what we know now, know as dancehall today. Yeah. So I started. I was influenced. From since in the reggae days, straight into the dancehall, mm-hmm. where I started to do that in Trinidad. Okay. And then I branch off into the soca music okay. because that is our thing. Okay, soca. Trinidad Tell is me the land soca, of calypso soca. and soca music. Yes, and it's like a, it's more of a, is it more of a faster pace? Well, we have like the groove soca. Okay. And we have the power soca, which is the the faster type soca. Yeah? Faster type. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, are you? Is it easier to get? Um, your music out there in the States as opposed to in the island or vice versa? What do you think? Well, um, what's your experience? Well, here? our, our music, soca music, it's still mm-hmm. underground. Okay. Yet it's heard all over the world. We travel all over the world. We pull out crowds, mm-hmm. massive crowds, 15, 20,000. Wow. You sure peop- enough do. You do. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, what? A lot of people know the music. Love it. Uh, yes. Because, and th- the reason for that is because of the carnival. Mm-hmm. You know, we got a thing called carnival. Um, carnival in Trinidad, which is at the beginning of the year, like February or March mm-hmm. month. And people from all over the world for years have been coming wow. until that, that now Trinidad type carnival spread around the world. So uh-huh. we have Caribana in Toronto, you know, it have the West yes, Indian Parade that's on what it's called. Brooklyn Carib- Parkway. Okay, so wait, so Caribana, mm-hmm. it's in Toronto and that comes right. in august yeah, or that's september the, that's, that's now yeah. yes that's now. this now my cousins are going there yeah and then you have in october in miami yes it have miami carnival okay which is a trini style carnival too okay you know but but when when you get to a carnival in trinidad it's a little different mm-hmm. because when we have carnival in trinidad it's the whole country so if you what? go any every town you go in uh-huh. you're gonna see dj box at the side of the road and people is Party in, in the whole country, the whole just, country. Oh, that's so beautiful. You know, so you see like um, we have Bronx. Uh-huh. Every area you go in Bronx, you're going to just see people all over the place. And wow. then it have, but in Trinidad now, um, we have 
everywhere, mm-hmm. four corners, and then we have the main stages them, which is in the north, which is in the capital, okay. Port of Spain, uh-huh. where we got we, you will get more of the um, the media televised right. mass, yes, and these things. So, but the difference when we go to the carnival out here, mm-hmm. it's like a route. Okay. You know, so they put the carnival in one area, mm-hmm. and that's where the carnival is. So. Sometimes people 10 miles away don't even know it have a carnival going on. Eh? Yeah, that's but true. That's the difference. So, true. so we are like the land of carnival. Eh? Oh, wow. You know, and that is that is what um, we are famous for. And the people come all over the world. And yeah. every year. And, and it's like parties every night. Uh-huh. About maybe about 20, 25 parties oh. every night. All the wow. parties is just ramen. Now, KMC, as an artist, do you perform at the carnival? Yeah, well, um. I have been performing for Carnival since 1998, since wow. I get my first Soka hit. Okay. Right, and um, never look back because it's mm-hmm. every year thing and it's the same circle. Yeah. After, and after the Carnival, they travel wherever I have Carnival, Notting Hill Carnival, Germany Carnival, Caribana, Brooklyn Parkway, New York. Yeah, which I was going to ask you, what about the Eastern Parkway yeah, in Brooklyn? I did that for like 15 years 15, straight. Okay, yeah. Are yeah. you doing it this year as well? Yes, well, Brooklyn? this year yeah. I'm actually doing it because um, I got a song called um, Parkway Ram. So it's like an anthem ah. in the Soka fraternity right now. So uh-huh. that's playing like on all the pirate stations. Yes. All the underground stations, you know? Okay. Yeah. So. All right. So let's get into your first song. We're going to get into your first song, which is So On Fire. Yeah. Now, this song is the biggest song here in the U.S. Yeah, this what is was my the biggest concept? song. Yeah. What was the concept behind this song, So well, actually, On Fire? Yeah. Actually, um, I went countryside uh-huh. by one of my brethren called Jungle. Mm-hmm. So we went up in the jungle by jungle, <laughs> <laughs> two miles in the jungle, 12 o'clock midnight. What? And we was making like a, a cook, uh-huh. make a, like a nice cookout. Uh-huh. And we left about three o'clock in the morning. And I reached home at, at least after four. Mm-hmm. And the very next morning when I w- wake up and I saw my wife and she was in a little short pants. <laughs> and I asked her to iron a, <laughs> iron a shirt for me. Uh-huh. And while she ironed in the shirt, I just look at her, and I just started just go the way you walk, where you talk, where you smile. Aww. When you looked at me, girl, for a while, started blush like a child. But I ain't playing no games now. I will do anything for your love. Just say the word now. You're my day. You're my night. You're my sun. Oh, you're my. Ra- and she started looking at me, and when she looked at me, I said, I've got to have you, eh, eh. Got to hold you, and she just told me that song is wicked. That same day, I went to the studio. Beautiful. (laughs) I did the beat, everything. Beautiful. By the time I I reached to the studio, I had all the lyrics in my head. All in your head. Yeah. Build the rhythm. Isn't it just how it's it's amazing how it just comes to you? Yeah. It's it's such a blessing. So let's get into that song right now by KMC, Soul on Fire. Soul on Fire. Actually, we're gonna see the video as well. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. (laughs) We got now. (laughs) 